available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Hey, uh, sorry to call you this early, but uh, you, you told me to call you last night and uh, remind me to bring your camera for the uh, um, game tomorrow. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I think it's going to be pretty good to bring the camera to all of our games this season, especially when we make it to state, because I want to get that cool shot of the uh, <laughs> the the trophy when we raise it up and stuff. But, um, dude, this season is going to be so fun. It's going to be one they're going to talk about for a long time. And I, they're never going to forget it. Um, but <laughs> i gotta, I got to go eat breakfast. I have it downstairs, so uh, I'll call you back. But... Uh, just text when you get this. All right. Thanks. Bye. I'm glad to hear that because it's no this coronavirus, John. It's making people anxious. You know, people are really nervous. New cases are surfacing in new places More than 150,000 new cases of COVID-19. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. What a crowd. Thank you so much for being here. Seriously, what's better than sitting next to 300 people during a worldwide pandemic? Am I right? New cases are surfacing in new places every day, with at least 98 countries and territories now reporting infections. It's generally believed that with the coronavirus, the worst is yet to come. I'm Caleb Hall, and I'm the head coach for the Harding Academy boys soccer team. Last season, we did a lot better than I think anybody expected. Uh, it, surely than I expected at first. Uh, once we got out there, especially once basketball players came back and we had you know, 22 at least guys every day, I started to see we're pretty good. Uh, for And at that point, we were starting to see the level of competition around 3A, and I thought we could really do something in the state tournament and didn't get all the way. Uh, ran into a good Green Forest team uh, who then lost to CAC that I felt like we could have beat uh, with a healthy team. Uh, and so it was disappointing to end that way, but exciting too, because I feel like we have a stronger team this year. Uh, we return almost everybody uh, and add you, uh, Ryan, and some others. Uh, and so I really, I like our chances this year. I think we can possess the ball a lot better, especially in the defense, won't just play 
kickball uh, trying to defend. Uh, and so in that way we can work the ball up better. Uh, we bring back a lot of power and speed in the attack. And I think we can do well. Uh, and hopefully we meet CAC or Green Forest in the championship. Hi, I'm Jackson. I'm a senior. I play left wing or just wing in general. I, I think our team chemistry is one thing that makes our team really hard to beat is that we've all known each other. We go, um, we all have the same classes with each other and you know, we hang out and play outside of practice. And so I think our team chemistry is one of our strongest qualities as a team. I'm squinting because the sun's in my eyes. I'm not, I'm not just, I don't look like this. Okay, well. Yeah. Think I can make this shot from back here? Think I can? What? Oh. oh. Come on. It's a lot of action. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, where the outbreak began. Officials now say more than 400 people have been sickened and nine people have died. The World Health Organization is holding an emergency meeting right now. Kena Whitworth is in Seattle, has the latest for us. Good morning, Kena. Hey, Robin, good morning. So that patient is a man in his 30s. He is in the hospital here behind me. Now, officials are describing him. That word on the front, United, is not just about soccer. And I hope you know that. It's so much more than that. Uh, and my goal for soccer at the end of the season is to win a state championship. We were almost there, and we got so close. And this year, I want to go the next step. I hope, and I, and I pray this for you guys every day, that once you graduate, we graduate a lot of people this year, that this unity stays. Nice, hey, that's beautiful. Good job. With the first game quickly approaching, we're all on edge in a good way. We're all getting hyped up for it. I think we grew real close last year. And then I think this year we're even tighter, but we're even better like soccer team. Yeah, it's kind of weird doing this, knowing that I'm going to look back at this in a couple of weeks. <laughs> you ready? Uh, my name is Ryan Fox. I'm a senior here at the Academy. This is my first year here. I just moved here a couple months ago from Mittenville. I'm really, really excited for this season and what lies ahead. It was basically like the end of any practice. We all just kind of came in. Coach told us some things. And then he said Daniel has a couple of words for us. We all turned to him and... He kind of told us the situation and uh, him saying that he's not going to be eligible this year really threw us off and we're going to have to adapt and uh, Sam's uh, going to be able to step up this year and I think he's going to do really well and I know that this is going to be a real building year for Daniel and next year he's going to, he's going to kill it. Well, my name's Daniel Parrott. I'm the goalie for our soccer team. I feel like we'll, we'll do good. We'll, we'll go a long ways. We might even make it to state. And Sam's going to do a real good job, too. i got confidence in him, and we're going to work with him some to help him get better. Uh, well, having the least amount of goals in any conference, and our conference, I only let one goal in, and uh, it, it felt pretty good. I mean, I feel like I could have done better. I shouldn't have let that one goal in, but, I mean, you can always strive to get better the next year. And taking this year off, I think I'll have time to work, too, and I'll get better and ready for next year.
Uh, so sadly, um, I had an ankle injury where we were playing futsal in the gym and I went to shoot the ball and tried to plant and uh, my ankle went like this and like this. It wasn't pretty. Um, so like recovery is going good, I guess. Um, it hasn't been long after. I'm, I'm doing okay right now. I can, I kind of have mobility on it and stuff. So hopefully I'll get to play on our first game. Let's see, this is, this is right after it happened. Good gosh, you got a tennis ball in your ankle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the, ah, bro. I didn't know it was that bad, bro. I just saw you go down. Like, I was on the bleachers when you went down, and I just saw you go down. I was like, oh, it's going to be out for like a week. All right, we're going to vote for our first team captain. I want you to think about who is it that holds us together. Right? Who's the, the person that you have in mind? Doesn't have to be a senior, doesn't have to be a junior, but it's somebody who embodies exactly what we mean by united. I want you to think, who is it? This is the glue that holds our team together, all right? Write down who, who you want, fold in half, and then I'll come pick it up. As soon as I heard my name, I was, I was really surprised. I didn't really expect to hear my name called, especially this being my first year and them not even actually seeing me play in games. All right, I have new ones, so this one's a little dirty, but they're just not here yet. Uh, so congrats, Ryan. Though I'm completely honored and I'm really excited. Um, me being captain on other teams has, has taught me valuable lessons with leadership. And I've got big plans for this team. I want to be able to lead this team to incredible success. Now, while many states have not made a final decision on what's to happen with their spring sports season, several states have made it known that they have no plans to cancel spring sports. Now that I'm here, like for the beginning of it, I'm really excited to, uh, to go on the field. This is a good like icebreaker for us. But each time, once again, we're trying to create these triangles wherever we are. So stones up here, we got a triangle there, we got a triangle here. I know that they're a completely new team and we're a completely different new team. I I'm gonna have to take probably the first five, 10 minutes to just figure everybody out, uh, figure our own team out, especially this being our first game. Um, it, it's going to be a lot of new for, for us all, but I think it's going to be really, really good. Probably if he's a captain and didn't score any last year, he's a defender. Uh, so watch for him. Uh, number two and 16 are the captains who have scored last year. Uh, this guy. This year we've got a lot of talent and like we're gonna work cohesively as a team and do way better than last year. Alright, it's the day we've been waiting for. One more day. I know we haven't been out and stuff. There may be some nerves about that, but I feel pretty good about it. Uh, I feel like we are so much better from this time last year, this time this year. And I'm excited to see you guys go out there and do some good stuff. Hydrate, like seriously. Like you will cramp, like it's gonna be like in the 50s tomorrow. So like, make sure you hydrate because the worst thing ever is like cramping up on the field. That's for sure. I've never cramped in my life until soccer, like last year. Because you think, if you think, yeah. If those guys doesn't cramp, you will cramp. Anybody else? Alright, see you guys tomorrow. I think on behalf of the team, I think we're all ready for the first game. 
and uh, we tied them last year, and then we lost to them again, so I think we wanted to, to really beat them this year. It was fun getting there and uh, feeling the nerves again, uh, starting the season. And uh, I remember the first, like the kickoff and uh, all the goals, uh, pretty much the the plays of that game. Um, pretty much by probably five or six minutes into the game, uh, I think a lot of us knew that um, we were a, a little bit better of a team. So around like the uh, like the first half, um, <laughs> you'll probably even hear me, but I know Ryan's dribbling the the ball up towards the goal, and I'm like screaming like, "Have it, have it, take this, like have the shot!" And uh, he, he shoots it, just, just like slides in. Good shot, Ryan. That was the first goal. It felt. So good. Good stuff, Ryan. Have a good shot. Good, Ryan. Stop. They took a shot, and uh, we crashed the box. And uh, I was on the left side, and the goalie kind of fumbled the ball a little bit, and then he like flung it on the ground and I just ran up and, and kicked it into the goal. And so it was a funny way to get a first goal. At the start of the second half, we felt really good coming back into the game. Um, the pace, we had all the momentum. Um, it, Everything felt really smooth, and we were starting to feel out um, our opponents. And uh, Ryan scored one, another one. And then Lawson scored one. So we kind of shifted the whole morale. Let's go! And, uh, it felt it felt good. It really did. I think Ryan scored two more, and then by that time we had already scored uh, too much um, for them to even make a dent in our uh, defense. I think that gave us a bunch of confidence going into the next couple of games in the the season. Um, but it was a it was fun being able to beat them since they beat us um, last year and they tied us. Uh, it felt really good to get a game in against a bigger school and um, it really showed how well the team could play together and so I felt really good about it and um, I'm glad we won. On March 12th we got the first remind notification that our games had been postponed and our next game had been rescheduled uh, on May 8th. I don't think we know like what that will do um, for the rest of the games and how the rest of the season's gonna look. Um, it's kind of a uh, a ripple effect, and uh, I hope that uh, you know it won't affect anyone too too much.
At the beginning of it, I was kind of like, this is really simple, kind of easy. Uh, I guess I overthought it. And then after, I was definitely tired, like worn out, but felt like I could have gone more, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, this latest one, I was hoping I wouldn't die. I did, um, but I got, got pretty high up there, 140, that was really fun to get. But we still got two more, so not looking forward to that. I stood on that line and I was confident. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Having other people there to push me was really, really good for me. If it was just me on my own, I probably wouldn't have gotten past 100. So it was really good to have teammates alongside me. It was good for us. I'm, I'm glad we did it. John David is a beast and uh, I think a couple of us got to about 140, 141. We dropped off. John David kept on going. He's insane. He's, he's going to be a real asset to this team, especially with that conditioning that he has. Hey, get a drink. We'll take a little break until 7.30 and then we're going to the other gym. We'd be in shape by the end of the season, that's for sure. You know, we mess around with each other. We, we goof around, we have a lot of fun. So I think just about more than any other team I've been with, this is, this is probably the happiest group and the most joyful group and the most uh, connected group that I've ever been with. I think we laugh more than just about any team I've ever been with, I'd say. And that's a good thing, that builds our chemistry. And that's gonna be a great thing to not only be tight with them uh, in a personal relationship, but also be able to play with them in soccer. And that's gonna transition to a lot of other things. And I think that it's just gonna be a great thing. It, it's blown me away. This, this school is incredible. The people are insanely amazing. And I, I've had the best time. The girls team uh, this year they were uh, still a relatively young team like they were last year. Last year they were really young. Um, they only graduated one player and she was a really pivotal role into the team and so it was good to see all of the all of the underclassmen step up and contribute the way that they did. Uh, last year the girls made it to the state championship game and uh, they have a chip on their shoulder this year especially to get get there again and win, um, hopefully. Um, they have a really, really good um, midfield presence and they have a really good um, offense and a really strong tight-knit defense um, and a really good keeper. And so they're all around just a really, really strong team. And uh, I think they have a lot to prove being only in their second year and that they're a really young team. I think that they're going to do really well this season. The, the second game, what do you want me to say? <laughs> uh, beat them 16 to 0. We scored 16 goals.
team. Yeah. <laughs> 16. Hey, um, hey. we're doing an interview for a soccer documentary, and we'd like to interview you. Um, but before that, could you state like your name, where you played, um, like you graduated last year, all that stuff, just like general I, rundown. I'm Hayden Bailey. I graduated last year. Um, I played center mid, and I was one of the captains. Um, being the first captain um, and looking back since you had such a prominent leadership role, um, how do you feel about the team looking forward? Um, kind of how, how do we pick off where, like, how do we build up the blocks that you left for us? Oh, man. First off, it wasn't just me that I left to y'all. Like, it was a whole team effort. Like, all of y'all were so good. Like, I had known a lot of y'all and played with some of y'all before. So, it was super fun and I'm very confident about where whoever the next captains are going to take the team and y'all's abilities are even are going to be even better than last year's team gotcha um if uh if we make it to state do you think you'll be there to hold up the trophy with us oh man I sure hope so well I think I think that's it thank you so much for your time um yeah for sure yeah thanks for thanks for connecting with us I can't wait to see you at some of our games Dude, I want to come so bad. I'll do everything I can to be there. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Bye-bye. Bye. And welcome back. This is the time of year many spring sports are getting underway in high schools across the state. Athletes and their families are waiting to hear if they will even have a season at all. No, this has been a... Uh... A very interesting week, a very uh, a week of of questions, and really, um, you know, just basically you have to sit back and wait and see what happens next. There's no way of knowing what could lie ahead for the season. Into it, into that deep blue abyss. COVID-19 has put high school sports on hold and in some cases canceled seasons altogether. As for the spring, the NSA announcing on Thursday that all remaining practices, competitions and state meets would be canceled for the rest of the school year. All I know is that we're going to play through whatever troubles us and it's going to make us closer as a team. I got it. I got that feeling again. So I got to Events all over the country have either canceled or been postponed due to coronavirus concerns. It never really felt that long. Do you find it hard to believe? And as we continue to hear about those suspensions and cancellations today, even more as the sports world rocked by the coronavirus, the NCAA canceling. Mm the March Madness Tournament. Other professional and high school sports organizations making unprecedented announcements as well. Spring sport tournaments are canceled. Something that you mentioned a lot of teams and players had expected, but still, nevertheless, very disappointing to hear. Don't forget that it's a lonely thing to put yourself before everything. Do you find it? For nearly 
a month, high school student athletes held out hope that they could return to normal on the fields, courts, and track. But on Thursday afternoon, those hopes were crushed. comes from Ephesians 2, it's that you're no longer strangers and aliens, but fellow members of God's household, this household right here. Call it whatever you think defines, but we only see what we want to see. Remember what we talked about several weeks ago when we mentioned this? Uh, and I also want you to keep Coach Smith's uh, recent Chapel Devo in mind. Uh, what, is, you know, what does it mean for us to be united? And I was struck by what he said about the football team with the, the seniors. Their, their best memories of the season weren't winning, wasn't wasn't the championship and, and that's exactly what I was trying to communicate to you guys at the beginning that what makes us united isn't what we do on the field at least not the winning part it's the relationship that's what I hope lasts I also heard someone say the other day that as coaches we we look at you with the 40 year old version of you in mind and meaning when I see Jalen, I'm not thinking about what's Jalen going to do tomorrow. I'm thinking about who's the man that Jalen's going to be one day. You know what's actually pretty crazy? We originally intended for this to be a mockumentary where we would just shoot random stuff around the school year and compile it at the end of the season and we wouldn't think a second thought about it. But it turned into something different. We quickly realized that there was real quality in what was happening and, and there was a story that needed to be told. And for you guys, as far as th this concept of United goes, I hope that means when you're 40 that some of you are still together, at least in spirit, that you still talk regularly, that you help each other get through problems, that you help each other uh, get through marriage issues and raise children and things like that. Hey, maybe we're all even in the same place and you guys have a men's soccer league. That would be fun. But <clears throat> the more important thing is what are what is the the spiritual aspect holding you guys together? I want you to think about who is it that holds us together? Right? Who's the the person that you have in mind. It's somebody who embodies exactly what we mean by united. Somebody that pushes people to be better, that doesn't demean each other, right? but constructively helps us to be better. Someone that communicates well. And yeah, the things that happened this year were not ideal to say the least. But I think the relationships that we formed because of it and the experiences that we gained throughout all of the unknown is irreplaceable. How amazing is that? I don't know what to do. Uh, just say say your name and kind of what's going on. Uh, well, I'm Jackson. I am 18. I turned 18 in December and still have not got my new driver's license. So I kind of think I'm driving illegally. Cut ties, no lies inside and I never meant to say that. Are you trying to show it to the team like at the end of the year? Or, like. 
That's cool. A long drive into the night. It's cold. Ooh, that mic is cold for sure. Sorry. Heartfelt need help. Oh, nothing.